before we start to going down to the rabbit hole, let us start with a few definition. I suppose this week, this video, we only talk about the definition first and let us digest a little bit, right? The definitions and the terms. And the terms, right? Of the pathology. So I have introduced so many terms, right? I hope you guys have not been bored with all these terms. Uh, I would cause I would like to introduce one more term, which is a neoplasia. Oh, this is once I said neoplasia, I think all the students were oh, wow, very happy on this, right? Neoplasia, neo, it's not matrix, neo is new, right? Plasia is formation, so it's new formation, or we call it a new growth. Right? By definition, it's a new uncontrolled. It must be uncontrolled, right? Because control is a normal physiology. Uncontrolled cell growth. It means this is something out of ordinary. And one more thing is it's irreversible. Often than not, it's due to internal stimuli. As just now I have said, internal stimuli is nothing but the DNA. Right, the DNA is beyond repair and causes this neoplasia. So, how do you differentiate neoplasia to cancer or malignancy? That will be a characteristic of a malignancy. These are the four things, right? We always have to remember these four things hyperchromatism. Number two, increased nuclear cytoplasm ratio or we call it increased NC ratio yeah number three you can have a increased mitotic figures and number four pheomorphism see the cell and mitosis and it must be able to differentiate to give function. If not, it's not functional anymore. They are not functioning, but what they do? They reproduce, right? Then during they reproduce and reproduce and reproduce, you become a cancer, right? So, how do you know this cell is have a potential to become cancerous? Is the hyperchromatism in which the chromosome have become thicker have become more is constantly in a replicating condition right so this is a cell and this is a nucleus where the the chromosome besides have become more so the nuclear become bigger that's why this is what we call a increase and C ratio right and because it's just replicating and there you see become my dotty figures because of the loss of mm, differentiation the cell is not always round like that the cell can have a lot of shapes and this is what we call a pheomorphism a lot of my students also still confused that if you have these four characteristics, then it is a cancer. No, because a cancer of malignancy. The definition it must have the ability to metastasize. It must be able to invade other place. So, 
if the cell, the neoplastic cells, right, have this four characteristic hypochromatism, increased NC ratio, increased mitotic figures, and pheomorphism, and it has the ability to metastasize. What does it mean? Right. Let's say this is a, a lot of cells inside, which is neoplastic. There's a lot of cells. Right. And this, there is always a capsule, or we call it a pseudo capsule. It can be a basement membrane where the cells just come down. Right. And if you look closer inside this, if the cells already invaded the capsule or we call it basement membrane, it can be a basement membrane, but it already have the ability to metastasize. So next week we are going to discuss about the mode of a metastasis as well. So um, if the malignant cells have not invaded we are very sure it's not invaded this is called a carcinoma inside the, or we call it CIS 90% of cancer are from epithelium epithelium are the outer lining of the uh, organ let's say our skin right in the bowel is the mucosa right all those are epithelium so when if there is a cancer in the epithelium we call it a carcinoma right if this is at the mesenchymal so mesenchymal tumor we always call it a sarcoma so there is a difference between carcinoma and sarcoma. We stick to the carcinoma epithelium. This is a collection of uh, neoplasm cells and it just grow, 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 grow and go to the basement membrane or it can be a capsule, right? Okay, once it has not invaded the basement membrane of the capsule, so this is called a carcinoma in situ or we call it CIS. If you look at the staging in which we are going to talk about this in the later lectures, right? All this condition we call it a stage zero. Mm, it's not even stage one, yeah? Right? But if the cells have already invaded, already invaded the basement membrane and it have the ability to metastasize the word here is for metastasis right so if it have the ability to metastasize directly it become a carcinoma or this is actually a, at least at least a stage one disease right guys i'm so sorry that <laughs> this lecture this week is a bit dry but it's very important for you guys to differentiate all this definition the metaplasia dysplasia neoplasia and carcinoma all these are very detailed very defined terms and you know what you are going to do with your patients later on there are a lot of confusing terms and probably we can discuss in the comment session right okay so please remember don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button so this week is just that uh, next week we are going to talk more on this cancer series at the same time same day and same channel at this case search bye